So one of the most common questions that we get is, okay, I take a mock test, I get a certain score. How do I analyze my mock test uh, to plan for that next 50 points of improvement? And and so uh, um, in this video, I'm going to take this uh, mock test where a student scored 660. It's not terribly high. It's not terribly low. Uh, you get to that no, get to the next 50 points. You get to that 710 score. You get into that nice zone where you say, okay, I am almost close to where I want to be. So let's look at this. So this is an output of a Sigma X mock. This is what we call as an ESR plus analysis, which is you know better than ESR analysis uh, or better than enhanced score report analysis. And, and I'm going to focus primarily on the quant section. So our goal over here would be to get about 20, 25 points uh, out of that quant section. And then in another video, I'll analyze the verbal section. So the first thing you do is you analyze the quant section. And, and, and one thing that you get out of here right away is this guy's really good in arithmetic. He is not as great in algebra geometry. So, so that part is there. So the focus has to be in algebra geometry, not so much in arithmetic. Arithmetic, we want to maintain uh, uh, our, 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 our abilities. Uh, and and al so arithmetic is number properties, word problems, PNC probability. And then it comes to algebra geometry, where you have inequalities, equations, functions, and, and then geometry. You want to make sure that's where you want to build ability over here. Um, Again, you can really see for this guy, the target score was Q48, which is what you see over here. And you can see these arrows are right there. This guy surpassed that over here. And in this, it tells you that you're three points shy of your target score. So let's go into your progression. In, in progression, what we're looking for is, is okay, how is the difficulty level going up? So uh, you can see started with medium difficulty. You can see medium, medium, hard, and hard. There are essentially five difficulty levels. So if you perform poorly, you go down. If you perform well, you go up and in this case the difficult level is is gone up it's it's, it's kind of uh, uh, uh it stays at medium it gets to medium hard right away and, and 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 even towards the end it doesn't completely go too hard it's it's between this medium hard and hard so we actually have um, a multitude of difficulty levels within these uh, over here but the thing that you're looking for is that is there a certain timing issue in in in, in this case and and when you look at this over here um even though the guy is, I mean, he has about 12 minutes for the last block. What you see is he spent a lot of time um, in, in block three. So definitely um, he's, he's uh, spent a lot of time over there. And and, and so let's kind of go into um, uh, algebra geometry. Why? Because we already know arithmetic, the guy's done really well. Um, and, 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 and so, uh, 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 so we want to really go into algebra geometry over here. So algebra geometry, this is where what you see um, the issue is. He gets medium difficulty questions, which is over here. Uh, he gets about 67% of them right. He gets then medium hard questions, and that's when he starts to make mistakes over here. One thing that you do notice is that, that you know he's rushing through these questions. He's made two mistakes out of three questions, spent about 53 seconds for every question that is answered incorrectly, which in my opinion could indicate rustiness, in my opinion could indicate overconfidence, uh, why? Because he's able, or he basically looked at those questions and said, I don't know them. Um, it could be either one of these. Um, then as the questions got easier, you can see his accuracy improved. And, um, and, and, and then as the questions got a bit more challenging here, again, you have those medium hard. He, he, he did make a, a, a mistake, but he did better than what he did in block two. So over here, when I look at this and I say, there's a lot of hope. I mean, you know, medium difficulty, the guy's pretty solid. Medium hard difficulty is when he starts to struggle. He didn't even get to hard difficulty questions over here. The test didn't even serve him those questions uh, overall. Now, let's kind of look at where is he faltering. And I'm going to look at algebra geometry over here. And here you can see in algebra geometry, what kind of questions did he do answer correctly? Which, what kind of questions did he answer incorrectly? And you go to this incorrect tab, what you see is pretty much every question belongs to algebra. Uh, you can see those two questions that we saw in block two where he took just about 50 to 55 seconds. He didn't even go through them. Those questions belong to quadratic equations and, and functions. And you can see the difficulty levels over here. Now, I spoke to this guy, is our student. He just scored 700 on the actual GMAT about 10 days post him taking this mock test. And he was of the opinion that um, that that uh, that he was weaker in geometry than uh, and, and not as weak in algebra um, and, and which, which is why he didn't go through the course but you can really see over here data shows a completely different thing i mean everywhere he he made mistakes um, it was uh, it was 
not in geometry, geometry, he got, you know, these, these four questions, he answered every question correct, whether it was a medium hard difficulty or, 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 or a medium difficulty, algebra. Uh, the moment uh, questions started to become medium hard difficulty, he started having issues. So when you have these insights, one of the big things for him to get to that next 20 points of improvement is focus on algebra, go back to the algebra course, uh, and, and, and and make sure you do, uh, you not only do the concepts, so let's kind of go to to, uh, to the algebra course, uh, and, and, and as you do this, you can really see 63% of that course is not even started over here. Um, so he's, he's, he's done well in the concepts, he's not done as well in practice quizzes for for, for, for the 29% of the course that he has completed. So for me, the thing would be spend about four days on, on algebra, finish this course, make sure you get that those, those that 80% and, um, and and then make sure that you go take another mock test or or or, uh, uh, or, or essentially practice in Scholar any. So this is a short video on, uh, on, on how you can get those uh, uh, get those next 20 to 30 points in about four to five days is our ins using insights from a Sigma X mock. Let me know if you have any questions um, and, and I'd be happy to answer those.